Hey, have you ever had a problem with your chickens not laying as many eggs as they used to? I know it's a chicken problem and it's very annoying. Anyway, I noticed that my egg basket wasn't as full as it used to be and I was starting to get a little worried. My chicken seemed fine and healthy, but something wasn't right. So I did what a responsible chicken farmer would do. And also being an animal scientist, I had to turn out for answers from the research papers. And after doing some old-fashioned googling, I come across an article about how great can help improve the egg production of hens. Apparently, great helps chicken grind up their feed in their gizzard, which can lead to a better digestion and a stronger eggs. I figured it was worth giving this grit a shot, so I headed to the feed store and I picked up a bag of grit. I pressed a dish of this grit in the chicken coop and made sure that the hens had also access to high quality laying feeds. And you know what? It worked like a charm. My egg basket is looking full again and the eggs have a stronger shell and fewer cracks. I'm telling you, sometimes the simplest solutions are the best. I'll definitely keep offering grit to my feathered friends. And if you're having a similar problem, give it a try. It might just save the day or at least make your breakfast a little more excellent. Woof! Some of you might be unfamiliar with grit. So basically, grit are small hard pebbles which are usually given to chickens so as to help in the digestion of feeds and most of the grit are made up of from granite grit or the pumice grit that is the volcanic you know it's usually volcanic stone usually grinded and then given to chicken and also the grit can be made from oyster grit so basically what this grit does it goes to the gizzard and at the gizzard usually have the breakdown of feeds so the grit will help break down and also with the help of the gizzard muscle the feeds will be broken down into smaller particles which will help digest the feeds so when more feeds are digested the chicken will have more available nutrients for egg production also you'll see that i've mentioned about this the source of grit and most of these sources are usually made of calcium so the additional calcium will help make the egg strong uh, we help make the eggshell much more stronger so we have less occurrences of a cracked shell most commonly this grit is usually offered in two ways the first way the grit might be given through feeds you, you can mix the feeds of chicken and the other way is that you can give it at free will so that's what this is what you've done you know you take a bowl then put grit inside then give it you know just put it somewhere with the chickens we able to access it and eat it at free will so those are the two ways in which grit can be offered to chickens so when you talk about some of the common mistakes that chickens or chicken farmers might be able to face when giving grit to chickens there are two major problems first problem is that the grit might be too small such that the beak of the chicken may not be able to collect the grit and also the grit may come with with very big particles that and that may have a difficulty the chicken will have a difficulty when in taking the grit so try and see have a medium sized grit particles the second problem is that the chicken farmers or the chicken ladder will be eating too little grit which may not be effective or also the chicken or the chicken farmer may offer the chicken too much grit you know that will end up the chicken having too much grit in the stomach and it will not have enough space for it to feed on the other nutritious feed you know the you know the proteins and carbohydrates and that may yet that may yet affect egg production and finally how is this grit supposed to be stored when you're not feeding this grit you know you usually give it in portions when the rest of the bag is in the store, how is it supposed to be stored? Because how you store it is going to affect how this grid will be effective on the chickens. So the grid bag or the rather the place where the grid is stored should be at a very should be at a dry, cool press 
and it should be sealed to avoid contaminations because we know contaminants might affect the chickens when the chickens consume the contaminations so that's all about contaminants and if you like to access the full article about this whole research about giving great to hands i've done a very good summary on another membership program that i'm signing out for this year this year i said that i'm going to do my best to ensure that farmers get high quality information i'm going to put that in a very detailed manner in a different platform and it's a membership membership based platform whereby you can subscribe monthly and be sure you'll be getting high quality information and you can ask me questions there and interact with other farmers so that we can learn and become the best farmers and possibly improve our living conditions and you can click on the link on the description to join that program apart from that if you haven't heard about moringa leaf extract i think you're missing out on how you can increase the growth of your chickens more so broilers or meat chickens moringa leaf extract will do wonders that research was crazy the chickens were able to increase up to a kilogram of eight kilograms yeah eight kilograms you don't believe that click on the video on the screen now you'll be amazed by that research